we're gonna peel the banana. And we're gonna, thanks, broke the banana. Doesn't really matter because I got to peel it. But what, we're gonna use the banana for some sweetness because when you use the banana, you can also use it, it's sticky, so you can stick it on the end of the jar. So, I'm just... Look out, that banana's about to fall! <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna wipe my hands. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna just cut the banana. What? Yeah, what kind of knife do you have there? Let me move this peel out of the way. Uh, yeah. What kind of knife do you have there? I have a great What's that? I just have a little knife here. That's a, I believe that's a Chef Junior knife, so it's yeah. not a, you know, an adult knife. Yeah. But any recommendations for using that knife? If you're a kid like me, always have a grown-up around. Good idea. So cut it into bite-sized pieces, so like something like that. Looks that mm -hmm. looks fine. Now we're gonna cut the strawberries. So I'm gonna teach you how to make a fan. So, cut it off the stem. So cut off the stem. I'm just gonna put that to the side for now. And we're using the strawberries to make it decorative. So we can like hang it on top and do all sorts of things. And it also brings brightness. So you can see it through the glass on the side when you put it in. So it will add a nice little addition to the fruit cup. So now, stand your strawberry up like this. But don't cut all the way to the bottom or it will just fall off as a piece. So cut down just carefully and go like that. And in the middle, make sure you don't cut all the way down as far as you did all the side pieces because what we're gonna do is we're gonna hang it on the side to make it extra fancy. So don't cut all the way to the middle or it'll just fall off when you push it off. So you're cutting thin slices, just not all the way through. And at the end, you'll see that they're together, so then you'll fan it out and pour it in. So now, since I'm at the middle, don't go really far. So just go that far. That one will be a little thicker, thicker, but it's better to have the little thicker than um, thinner. So now you can go like that, but be careful. And if one of your sides fall off, just like one of mine, that's okay because you still have the majority of the flowers left and look like that as a fan. So now we're going to do that for all our strawberries and we're going to use them. But we're oh, I have five strawberries. So I'm going to do that, I think, with three and leave. And then we'll cut two into bite-sized pieces. I like that you appreciate not just the taste, but the presentation also. Yes. Presentation always has to be one part, but it also has to taste good. Mm -hmm. So it's not just like, it looks boring, but tastes good. You want to eat something that looks like you want to eat it. That looks good, because you might not want to eat it if it doesn't look good. <laughs> So you in case so the second one looks like that. So you did two fans. We're just yeah. Or are you gonna do three fans? We're gonna do two fans and then one here. We're gonna hang them on both sides or something. Okay. We'll see when we assemble. How we feel all about that? So I just cut the strawberry tap and we'll lay it on the side. And cut that. And that. Okay, good. I'm cutting them small because. It's easier and you, you have more room for all the fruit, other fruit, so you can get everything in. And it, it makes it nicer when you assemble. So it's like really small and it, uh, it doesn't look like very chunky.